Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ryan Bossery from RyeWire again, and I am working on my EV S2000 today. Uh, yesterday we actually had my buddy Mitchell come out and do like a really very, very thorough uh, cut and buff job um, after the LTMW paint. Uh, LTMW did a great job on the paint, but I really wanted something to um, really come out. You know, I wanted it to pop, I wanted it to be ultra smooth. And um, that's what Mitchell is really good at. And you know, after after a paint job, the best way to make it really pop is to hire a professional to um, really work his magic in the cutting process and then the buffing process. So we had Mitchell come out and do that. The car is super shiny, it's looking great. Um, I had to hang some of the body panels for him to be able to actually, you know, uh, buff on. And I had to like mount them and get them so so he could do his work and do his magic. Um, so I assembled a little bit of the car, so I want to show you guys kind of more or less what it's going to look like. A lot of the fitment gaps and stuff like that are off, um, but we just, you know, we're just trying to put it together for, for him to be able to do his job on. Um, I also got a lot of the electronics done in the back. Um, it's kind of mocked up right now. I just want to make sure that everything can fit and the wires and stuff aren't like, you know, um, uh, clear paths so they're not like pinched on anything or anything like that. So. Let me show you guys kind of what we're looking at and I'll uh, kind of describe the process. All right, so here is the Cassell design front bumper that we've been working on for a long time now. And it's kind of on the car. It's just kind of thrown on there. Definitely not final install. I also um, am deciding to, to run some black trim around the, the um, separations. And then also I wanted to paint the, the lip spoiler at the bottom a different color, just go black with that. Um, haven't done any of that stuff yet, but as you guys can see the paint is super crispy. It's looking really really nice Mitchell did a great job on it as to be expected. So it looks looking really good under the lights um, And then let me show you guys kind of what I'm working with in the back of the car so as you guys know, I didn't paint the interior because I'm planning on running full interior and I just felt that it would be better to just leave it as it was um, I feel like it's a smart idea to not, you know, paint the interior and have it potentially like flake off or look bad in the future. So the back of the car is now has a lot going on. So there's a lot going on right here. Everything's just kind of mocked up. Um, I can explain to you guys a bit of what's going on. So let me uh, get into a better position. All right, so what I'm looking at here is uh, two of the Chevy Volt battery packs hiding underneath here. So there's actually one where you can see an orange plug plugged in and then one underneath. So I got two Volt packs in the back. This is behind my seat. So this is gonna be a driver's seat passenger seat on the S2000. This is the factory bulkhead that kind of divides it. You'd have your storage box and then your storage box travels into here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run a tonneau cover on this car. So this whole thing's gonna be like tonneau covered, but underneath the tonneau is all these components. So what we're mainly looking at here other than the two batteries that I was describing earlier is there's like a cradle, like girdle that like goes around the batteries with electronics mounted to it. So first thing that really stands out is the AEM. So this is the VCU 200. This unit controls and is kind of the brain of the entire car. It controls things like air conditioning, heater. It talks to the PDM. It talks to the charger. It talks to the battery management systems. It's pretty cool. And it's like your centralized hub, kind of like an ECU, but obviously not driving an ECU. So it has its... Uh, PWM outputs, it has its low side triggers, it has its high side triggers, it can do things and gather information and eventually it might even be able to run the pedals and the motor but AEM's not quite there yet. Uh, maybe one day but right now it is not actually driving and controlling our Tesla motor but hopefully one day it will. Um, on the sides here, so you got the AEM mounted there, BMS, so this BMS with the with the cooling plates on the sides this is monitoring my two battery packs, my two main Chevy Volt full packs that are 365 volts each uh, up to around 400 volts. So I got two packs that are 400 volts. 
and I need two BMSs. So this is monitoring one pack and we can call this one the master. It gets power and triggers in through one of the plugs. It has a thermocouple connector that is, is, is monitoring thermally the entire battery system. And then it also has um, the battery uh, voltage taps, which down here, they're not really plugged in, but you can see a couple like white with the yellow and red wires. And those are the connectors that are monitoring each of my 96 times two uh, cells that are in each one of my packs. So all those wires are going to all the cells and they're tapping on top of all the batteries. Right here, you could see them, these orange connectors. These orange connectors are all my cell taps. So you can see the orange and the red wires there just faintly. Um, I just wrote numbers on there so I don't get uh, mixed up because it's it gets pretty confusing and these are my thermo uh, sensors the thermistors that are um, monitoring temperatures on all these packs so that's what the BMS the battery management system is doing and you can see them there on both sides they live on both sides right here they're not mirrored so that's why this one has its connectors up and then it has the power connectors down there and thermocouples there in the center I have the Stealth EV charger. This is my onboard charger. This is an AC charger. And built into this, it has a DC to DC converter. So what that's doing is it's taking high voltage DC, like I said, 365 to 400 volts, and it's converting it through, through this plug right, I'm uh, sorry, that plug right there, the black one right there. Power's coming out of there. I don't have it plugged in. It's gonna go around here and it's gonna to go to the positive side of my battery. And then the negatives, I'm sorry, this is the positive side right here, uh, positive side of my battery. And then the negative side of my battery back here is gonna to go to the chassis. And then um, this unit itself gets grounded to the chassis or and the negative battery terminal. So basically this onboard charger is also my alternator, if you wanna think about it that way, um, charging my 12 volt system 12 volt system is running things like my aem digital dash like my water pumps like my fans so the things that are standard 12 volts that's what it's running so 12 volt battery is running 12 volt stuff high voltage stuff we haven't really gotten into yet there's another whole section of high voltage but um most of the stuff here for the most part Mount, mounting around this is going to be 12. Also hiding down here, everything's just loosely connected. This is my PDM30, my uh, Morris Tech black box right here, one of two. Uh, this is running, this is controlling a lot of my contactors. So these are turning on and off contactors. These are running things like lights and stuff like that. So this PDM is programmable PDM. This is almost like my fuse box, if you will, my solid state 30 output fuse box and that's mounted right here on the opposite side of pretty much where my battery is living so they're they're on the sides um everything is just like shoehorned into this car it's pretty nuts um seat belts this is like a little modification that alex from belayed sports does um he moves the seat belts over a little bit and then we're going to have his headrests and then the headrests are going to have harnesses coming out and then you can also use um, the standard seat belt. So I'm gonna have both style seat belts in the car. Um, that's pretty much what's going on back here. What's not plugged in. So there's even gonna be more shit. Um, the why, uh, I'm sorry, the plumbing. So these water lines need to kind of actually like bulkhead through the storage box. And then they need to go to these water ports right here. So I haven't done that yet. And I also have not added my high voltage um, uh, one gauge or not one gauge uh, cables that are gonna bulkhead down through, sorry, down through here. I have some wire glands that will bulkhead through and then they will go to um, under the car to a master kill switch so I can service the car and then they'll lead to my fuses and into my high voltage box that's gonna be, that's gonna be in the trunk. So next, because we're on that subject, I'll show you guys where I'm at with the high voltage box. So it's probably best to start here. High voltage box is gonna live right here. So this is my trunk. And on the S2000, this just 
dishes in and then there's like tools and stuff in here. So what I did was we just cut it out. Okay. And then right now you can see my motor. So there's a Tesla drive unit right there. And then you can see my like custom rear subframe sway bar and some electrical for my like tail lights and stuff like that. Cause this car is completely rewired. So we have tail light connectors, everything's brand new wire in the entire car. You can see the Orion 2 BMS logos, and then you can see my Chevy Volt battery pack, one of them pretty clearly from this angle. Just to step back, you can see that it is the back of an S2000. You can see that we eliminated the exhaust. And let me show you guys some batteries and my high voltage box. So I am uh, just starting to lay this out. So what I did was I took I made my own fuse box. I couldn't find anything really cool, so I used like Chevy Volt um, fuse box sections, and then I kind of grafted them into this box. And then what I did was I used a 12-pin Deutsch connector bulkhead mount, and then I just have 12-pin uh, here. So there's a bunch of fuses in this box. I think there's uh, six or eight. I think there's six in there, and there's also my. Um, Pre-charge relay, so pre-charge resistor, excuse me. So pre-charge resistors in this box, and then this is a power stud. Power stud is going to get power by this contactor. This is my main contactor, two of them stacked together. Uh, this is for, this is basically my positive battery high voltage, and it's also connecting to my motor on the positive side. This is my negative contactor. It's a really high-end contactor for the positive. Um, side of, of of this unit same thing so it'll have the negative coming in from the battery and then the other side will be the negative from the motor and then i got a two big fuses right here 500 amp, 500 amp uh fuses so i'm gonna have wires coming in through the box power to my positive and negative these two contactors this black one and this black one are for my chatamo charger chatamo is a DC to DC rapid charging. So it's direct DC current. There's no need for an AC, um, like a J1772 AC uh, for the onboard charger. This is just my fast charge, but I'm gonna be able to charge at home with my AC system, my Blink charger that I'm gonna be using. These are all relays, and those relays are gonna come out of these plugs right here. I'm gonna use these guys. They're gonna bulkhead through the box. Um, they're gonna basically come out, go around, down in. These are gonna have my battery heaters. I'm gonna have two battery heaters for now. Uh, AC system and the cabin heat. So then I'm only gonna probably use five of these. Uh, I'm gonna use four of these uh, six available plugs but I can expand later. I want this set up so you know I can I can add more relays if needed. I can put two more right there. Um, there's gonna be a bunch more stuff in this box. We're gonna have a Canon, Canon mil-spec connector is gonna live right there. And then that's gonna get wired up into um, all these contactor leads right here for switching. So it'll run like along here. And we're also going to be bulkheading this through, which is just my little, um, for my charger power, fused power here. And then we're going to have some cannon plugs coming from the drive unit up and then more cannon plugs coming out here. So that's kind of an overview of where I'm at. All right, guys. So hopefully this was um, a little bit insightful and it wasn't too boring. Um, kind of an overview of where I am and I have like a week and a half to finish this car so I am going to continue to doing do videos but I don't know if I don't have time to post anything I might have to be kind of like after the car's done um, but that's where I'm at so thank you so much for tuning in uh, peace